Hello viewers, welcome back. So we are motivated, so let's continue. So what have I prepared for you today? This time is on the menu, the True Fu Lin Centrifugal Energy Generation System for Conservation of Energy. The image on my left side represents one of the views of this amazing, beautiful device. So what is here all about? It's very strange, it's unusual, but it's a pretty logical device which could, in theory, develop more output power than input power. And why would that be? That would be really simple. It's the, um, with the set of gears, you always get, you can get output energy higher than the energy uh, input you have. Like, you can do it with your hands, yeah, so. But what's the catch here? So in front of my face, now you can see the pattern. So we have like two sources of energy here. We have the uh, small driving source of kinetic energy, these small uh, like cars which spin in circle, as you can see. And uh, yeah, in the middle we have a system of gears for multiplication of power. And then we have the huge output generator or basically the, the source which will conserve the energy at least, if not give even more energy on the output because of the multiplication of power. And now you can see shortly animation. It looks really, really simple and amazing, beautiful. I would say that uh, this patent is <laughs> rather odd in some way because I have, I have never seen similar like this one before. But yet I really, really love it because it's so, so, so simple in, in theory, yeah? in, in, in concept is really very, very simple. So let's go now to the big screen shortly to explain why, why this could work or why this would conserve the energy. All right, so this would be our device. So as you can see on, on this upper shaft, this blue, which is spinning, this is the, let's say, source, first source of our kinetic energy. On this, uh, let's say, on this circle, there are two small vehicles which need small energy in comparison with the energy which, which we can get on these uh, gears when we transfer it via, via gear system. So this is really uh, interesting device, could be... Uh, and why would that conserve the energy, at least without getting output energy higher than the input? I really don't know. Uh, so this is the... like uh, with the drive pulleys, so you can get output higher than the input, but if we would just want to extract the energy itself, the, the power can be higher, but the energy produced or um, spent should be the same uh, on, on this system. Uh, we, if, if we need, let's say, 10 horsepower of these engines to, to spin uh, around, I, I, I'm without uh, doubt we have much more power on this gear mechanism over here, so maybe 100 horsepower, who knows. Uh, however, with the, with the gear system you can very easily calculate how much the power is multiplied uh, depending on the design of the gears. But yeah, it's really interesting design. In, in the description below you can see, you can read the patents, so there is a link to it. So. If you have time and uh, if you want to know more about this chuffling device, feel free to read it. Well, what can be said about this chuffling centrifugal energy generation system for conservation of energy? At least it should conserve the energy. If, if we spend some energy on these small vehicles which spin around, the same energy should be produced on the output generator in the middle. So that would be the case. Why would, we, why would we bother with that? I don't know. You know. So basically, we should we ha we have to read this patent entirely to see what uh, what practical purposes has this inventor imagined for such a device. Uh, I think that I may not explore such systems anymore because they are of not too much purpose. But it's really it really cool to read such stuff that somebody thinks, thinks even in such a way to make an interesting device. So, 
Thank you for watching until next video, which will come, I promise you, really soon. Stay tuned on my channel.